Hey guys, good to have you back at the channel. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. But before we get started, guys, just want to say thanks so much for being subscribed to the channel and for your enormous support over the last few months. It's really, really helped to get the channel growing bigger and better. And we want to bring you the best content we can possible. So be sure to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we're going to get started with today's video. Now, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's gamble moving to the US has not paid off, says a commentator. Now, reports suggest the Duke and Duchess were not invited to their celebrity friend Oprah Winfrey's 69th birthday over the weekend. Early stars gathered to celebrate Oprah's birthday, organised by Anastasia Beverly Hills in Montecito. Now, Kim Kardashian was in attendance, posting some pictures on her Instagram story with the caption, Happy Birthday at Oprah. Sounds like a place we'd all like to be. Now, Sharon Stone said it best last night, toasting that means to the word Happy Birthday. And Kara Kennedy suggested that Harry and Meghan loudmouths are being used against them after a series of similar incidents over the last few years. On a more serious note, snubs like this show the tide is turning with the Sussexes. It also shows that the gamble that saw them trade in the lifelong duty of being working royals for the money and fame being celebrities hasn't paid off. Now, she noted previous reports that A-listers were leaving the pair off guest lists because of their capacity to share. Now, writing for The Spectator, Cara added, it's easy to see why Oprah wouldn't want the pair at her birthday after Harry's latest revelations. During his press tour for the Duke's memoir, Spare, nearly three years on from that bombshell interview with Oprah, he made her look stupid. On national TV, during a two-hour interview where the couple managed to tell 17 lies, they planted a seed that would be seen as the British royal family branded as terrible racists. During the March 2021 interview, Harry and Meghan claimed a member of the royal family asked about Archie's skin colour, which Cara said was the Sussex's campaign to finish off the British monarchy. The Sussex's equal drama... Uh, everybody over here is starting to realise that they never intended on having a quiet life, a Hollywood insider told the outlet. Royal commentator and host for To Die For Daily podcast, Kinsey Schofield also previously told Fox News, I think Spare and the recent Netflix documentary will ultimately hurt Harry and Meghan's relationship with the Hollywood elite. Now, did intensely private Beyonce give Meg permission to read a text message that she sent the Duchess verbatim to millions of Netflix subs subscribers? I highly doubt that. It Did Courtney Cox expect the one day be called out for magic mushrooms, chocolates in spare? Does Gail King enjoy being grilled by the internet when Harry tells ITV there isn't raw racist after Gail appeared on morning television claiming that her friends, the Duke and Duchess, had receipts? They are putting people in uncomfortable positions and situations. So what do you guys think about this news? We really want to know. Do you think the Sussexes are trying to overshadow King Charles and his coronation? Please share your thoughts in the comments, guys. And until the next video, have a great day and we'll see you next time.